guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share with you how to get this big, beautiful, bombshell, Victoria's Secret lioness hair using hair extensions. I hope that you enjoy it. And without further ado, let's get started. So I'm starting off with clean blow dried hair. And as you can see, my hair isn't super long and it doesn't have as much volume as I want. So I'm going to be clipping in my extensions. The set that I'm using is by Irresistible Me. This is their volume Vixen set. In this set, you get four of the two clip wefts, two of the three clip wefts, and then you get one big super full jumbo weft with four clips on it. This is like a few wefts all sewn together and what's nice is that they actually sell this piece separately if you want I get comments a lot from people saying that they already have long hair but they just want to add more volume and thickness so this way you can save some money you don't have to buy an entire full set of extensions if you're not going to use the whole thing you can just buy this nice full piece so I'm going to clip them in now if you have really short hair I actually have an entire separate video all about how to clip in extensions with really short hair I do this kind of like pin and tuck technique to hide like the short pieces of your real hair from peeking through so I'll put the link to that somewhere on the screen and in the description go check that out but now that my hair is a little bit longer I don't do that extra step so I'm just gonna start sectioning off my hair and I just leave a little bit of my hair down at the bottom I don't worry about making my parts super perfect or anything like that then I'm going to grab one of my two clip pieces since down here is the least wide I want to use my shorter pieces or pieces that aren't as wide so I'm just gonna clip in that two clip piece then I'm going to take another two clip piece and I'm going to put that right on top of the first one. Let down my hair, make another section. Then I'm going to take a three clip piece. I'm going to take another three clip piece. And again, I'm just going to put that right on top of the first one. Now that I'm kind of at the middle of my head and where my head is the widest, I'm going to use my four clip piece. Since this is a really thick full one, it's a little bit on the heavy side, so I'm just going to very lightly tease my hair just so it gives the clips a little something extra to hold on to so they'll stay in place. Now all that I have left are two two clip pieces and I like to use these on the top in the front to kind of help blend my layers a little bit. So I'm just going to section my hair off like this and clip these in. So I have all of the hair in now. This is how long it is. So the curling wand that I'm gonna be using is also by Irresistible Me. This is their Sapphire 8-in-1 curling wand. I've had this thing for like over a year now. It comes with a whole bunch of different wand attachments, all different shapes and sizes, so you can do a whole bunch of different hairstyles. It's pretty cool as opposed to having to buy like eight different individual curling irons, you know? So the barrel that I'm gonna be using is the largest one that comes in the set. I wanna say this is probably about a two inch barrel, one maybe one and a half to two inches. So I'm just gonna turn this on and set the temperature to 370 degrees. So I'm just gonna make sure that all of my hair is to the front. And then I'm just going to section it off one more time. I'm gonna work from the bottom up, so I'm just going to clip this section out of the way. So I'm just going to work with sections about this size and I'm going to be alternating the direction that I'm curling my hair. So the first piece, I'm going to start curling it away from my face and I'm just going to hold it there for about 20 seconds or so. Then I'm going to let the hair down and then I'm just going to grab the curl and just bobby pin it. So again, grab the next piece and then this time I'm going to curl it towards my face. Hold it there for 15 to 20 seconds and then let down the curl. I'm going to just take a bobby pin and try to pin this thing down. And then the next piece away from our face. 
and same thing. So all we're doing basically is just alternating the direction of the curl, so away from my face, then the next one towards my face, next one away, hold it for 15 to 20 seconds, and then drop the curl down into my hand, and then pin it. That's it. It's pretty easy, and once you get the hang of it, you can do it pretty quickly. Now I'm gonna move on to the next side of my hair. I'd like to leave the top section last. Okay, so the bottom section is completely done and pinned up. Now all I have left is the top. So my top layer of hair, I actually have layers that are pretty short so I'm gonna pull those out of the way and clip them up because I find that if I try to just leave them down and curl and pin them with the rest of my hair some of the pieces kind of stick out or they just I don't know it just doesn't really look it doesn't lay the way that I like it to lay so I like to just leave those and do them completely by themselves so for these sections I'm just gonna do the exact same thing that I did with the bottom also I always start from my face back because I want to make sure that these pieces that are closest to my face are being curled away from my face I just like the way that that frames my face better so now that the majority of my hair is all curled and pinned up this one is falling down a little bit I'm just gonna leave it like this and let it cool. I'm not gonna do the very top section until I let all of the curls down. But yeah, typically when I'm doing my hair like this, I will do my hair first, so that way I can do my makeup and finish getting ready while they cool. The longer you can leave them to cool, the better they'll set and stay. So just try to leave them as long as you can, but I wouldn't say you'd need to leave them like that for more than like 30 minutes. So yeah, I'm just gonna let these completely cool and I'll be right back. Okay, so the hair has completely cooled now. So now we're going to take all these curls down and finding all of these bobby pins should be interesting. <laughs> So this is what the curls look like now. So now I'm going to take down this very top section. So I'm just grabbing these pieces, curling them away from my face and just really quickly wrapping it around the barrel. I don't wanna hold it there for too long. And since those are the shortest pieces of hair that I have, I wanna make sure that they're not curled quite as much because I want it to just blend in with the longer pieces at the bottom. I hope that makes sense. All right, so if you wanted to, you could just leave your hair like this, but I like to add even more volume. So I'm just going to take these curls and just kind of pull them apart. But just kind of pulling them apart with your fingers will still keep the curls intact, but it'll just make them so much bigger and fuller. So you can already see the difference between this side and this side. And if you wanted to back comb underneath here and add a little more volume up at the top, you can, I'll do it just a little bit. Just so that way you have volume all the way from the ends to the root. And then the last thing I like to do is use a finishing spray. This is the OGX Argan Oil of Morocco Elevated Finish Spray. This works a little bit like a hairspray. It does give you hold, but it also adds texture and volume to your hair without like the crunch or stiffness that most hairsprays have. So that's it for the tutorial. That's how I get this big, sexy, voluminous, Victoria's Secret, I woke up like this type of hair, and how you can achieve it even if your hair isn't already naturally long and full. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. This is a knockoff of the Alexander Wang Rocco bag. I got it on eBay. I'm not entirely sure if it is still available.